Hey you guys, so I'm making this video to show you the proper form of a plank and also the modification for a plank. The proper form would be arms underneath your elbow, uh, shoulders, I mean, not elbows. Um, this is the modified form. You take the knees up, point the toes, make sure that your back is perfectly in a 45 degree angle. And as you can see, that's the 45 degree angle. You don't want your butt too high like this, and you don't want your back dipping like that. So you kind of want it in between, 45 degree angle. Um, my advance is going to go fully on all, all um, hiked up without the knees down. Make sure that your back is straight. Your head is in neutral spine. You never want to come up with the butt like that or like this. And you never want the hips to drop like that because then you start using your back. So you always want to make sure that you're in neutral form right there. Your head stays right where my head is, never underneath, and never up like that, neutral. What happens is, 9 out of 10, if your head is below your heart, your heart rate, it's going to decrease the blood flow. And what that, that causes is you to pass out. So you don't want to pass out. It's definitely not good to do that, especially if you're on beta blockers, blood pressure medicine, or if you have um, a history of like uh, medical issues like vertigo, um, things like that. So make sure you keep that head in neutral spine and also never go up with the neck because then you're curving the neck. The neck is a very sensitive part, um, so you don't want to you know pull anything in there and you never want to dip or hike up the butt because when you do you start using your lower back which you don't want to do because of course that causes lower back issues so if you can't do the modification on the knee um, or the advanced off you know completely off the knee or if you even have bad wrists a lot of times what I tell my clients is go on the elbow come up and plank. This is really good for those of you with arthritis or with carpal tunnel um, with wrist issues. That way you're not putting so much weight and emphasis on the wrist holding yourself up. If you ever feel like your shoulders are um, hurting, it's probably because you're not in neutral spine. A lot of people, what they tend to do is hands in front of the shoulders. So what that does is causes all the weight to be shifted on your shoulder um, and that's not a good thing either because you can hurt your rotator cuff um, or injure your shoulder period. So again, hands underneath, shoulders, neutral spine, head neutral, just like that, straight line, Modif modified, just like that, 45 degrees. And another issue with um, modification I'm going to go over is the knees. You always want to make sure that you're not completely on your kneecaps, like kind of like that. Kind of you want to be towards the front of the knee right here, right there. Never on the knee cap itself, like that. So you want to tilt forward, but make sure that the hips just doesn't drop so those are just a little bit of tips um, if you find that your knee does hurt during planks because you're using the modified version you could always stick a towel underneath um, that way you have extra cushion and control um, so if you have any questions other than that about planks uh, just IM me or send me an email me at the email address below or Whatever. Have a great one.